I love AMG cars and right over here we are at the Mercedes-Benz AMG experience and we are here to experience something that's very very different from what we usually know about Mercedes-Benz AMG or should I say Mercedes AMG so there's a tag here that says something very different but what's really more important is we're gonna have some fun over here because we are here at Sepang Our host for today is Australian Endurance Championship winner Peter Hackett, who is a familiar face with Mercedes AMG. What I've done this time is that lane that we were breaking in is stopped. There is now a truck. But for today, there isn't any truck, as we are getting ourselves fully acquainted with some of the cars from Mercedes AMG. So we warmed up for some brake maneuvers. Oh, Peter, there we go. <laughs> a little bit early. Remember, we must break at the red cones. Yeah, the orange cones, you must break here. Try not to break up further. Remember, if you don't get it right, you're only going to hit a cone, a clock. It's not the end of the world, yeah? All right, Nick, let's go. Okay, kind of full send. Okay, okay, not so full send. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, one break. Oh, 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 it's not bad. Did you put it actually? That was a really good job, really good. You could have actually kicked the brakes a bit harder, yeah? I couldn't. Damn, I'm good. And for a few drag races with cars like the A45S. And the EQE AMG 53. No, right, anyway. So anyway, we're reading. We are here with our instructor Peter Hackett, Australian fella. Um, well, I've been, I've been in a session with him before. Pretty fun guy. Uh, and right now we are. He's getting us to sort of roll the car and in position. And go. Ouch. Okay, I'm feeling. Yeah, I'm green out a bit, but yeah, I think I can do this. And break. No. No, no absolute heavy. That's a lot of ABS. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of ABS. <laughs> Hell of a lot of ABS. I've never had a sort of GBS in my life, but you can never do it with um, ABS. And MPS is good for you. I have no idea why it's good for health and makes you happy and healthy. <laughs> and of course, nothing beats having some quality time taking some of these lovely cars around the track. Wait. Sorry, guys, I'm just enjoying the drive, so I'm really quiet. I've gone all quiet, but oh, this is the end of it. It's pretty much the end of our session here at Sepang. Lovely racetrack, and I've got lovely company right beside me, who's been giving me very good advice on, or very good information on what's been happening to this very, very lovely international quality racetrack. And now we are going back into the pits, and I think you're about done. Saving the best for last, we were given a hot lap with Peter himself in the AMG C63 SE. And we can tell you that it was quick. So when people talk about a formatic vehicle, they're like, oh, it's always going to understand. Not a waste. <laughs> yeah. So we export plus. So that's pre safe. So that's how slippery the car is. The pre safe is a. Uh, where the seat belts are part of the pretensioning to prepare us for a crash. You heard the noise. This is called pink noise. Pink noise is designed to prepare your eardrum for the deployment of an airbag. So uh, it's so slippery here at the moment that uh, the car is preparing for an accident in that situation. The next left is going to have traction control off, right? No. No, nope. uh, this is the traction control on. Yeah, you're not going to turn it off for the next lap? No. No? What? I'm not crazy. What? Completely sideways. <laughs> it's already sliding around with complete traction control. Yeah, look at that. That's 85 kilometers per hour. Uh, even if I was doing a hot lap for the rookie with a GT3 right now, I have traction control because. Oh. I think it sounds amazing. Yeah, for performance car well yeah but you have the electrification also so yep. the sensors are all part of it um i really like the feel of the steering wheel braking feel we can change the pressure through the brakes no problem just got to be careful on the power right. 
completely sideways everywhere. Flip the ears me on. There we go. And that's without drift mode. <laughs> so of course this car also has drift mode where we can just make it two-wheel drive. So Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good. You know, and <laughs> for me that's part of why the C63 SE performance is so exciting because even in just that very simple demonstration on a slippery surface, we have I had an example of how the car you can drive it off the rear wheels, you could drive it off the front wheels. The Formatic Plus system is helping us with the torque vectoring. We saw we still had really good brake depth, really good weight transfer, and good predictability. So the power delivery, the way that you can drive out of the slides and off the corners, I think is super amazing. So, uh, of course, I'd like to take you on a lap where it's not so slippery, but when the car is sliding, that's the maximum speed. You, you just can't go any faster than, than sliding. So, uh, hopefully next time we can take you and it's uh, completely dry, and Thank you. then we can take the ESP on. <laughs> yeah, but thanks, this is really good it's, uh, on its own. Fine. Thank you. We have come to the end of our session and uh, well, all of us are very familiar with what AMG brings to the table. But what's really interesting is today we get to experience this with electrification. Well, that's the next lap. So stay tuned for our reviews of some of these lovely cars. Tiffin signing out from Carbaya, Singapore. Oh.